guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going through every single drugstore lip product I own. Alright, this is a shot my stash and enjoy. <laughs> the only thing is I'm not going to be talking about lip glosses in this video because I have some but I really don't like them. I would just be like, I don't like this, I don't like this. So I don't feel like that's very fair. I just don't like lip gloss at all so I figured I wouldn't make this like a crazy negative video if you want to see them. I probably have like 15 maybe. I mean I'll do it but I mean I personally don't really want to but if you want me to I will. Alrighty. There's gonna be a lot a lot a lot of swatching and talking about products in here so let's just jump on into it. I will start with this why not. This, this is the NYC lipstick in 320 mahogany. It is a very very nice dark 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 color as you can tell. The thing is, it is a little patchy and it is very, very glossy and transfery. So I have to blot and even set my lips with some type of a translucent powder with a tissue, you know, that whole thing. But I really like it. It's cheap and it works and it's nice. I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about every single product, you guys, because I have so many to get through. So um, yeah, I'm going to be kind of just straight up and move on. Because this is the Maybelline Color Whisper. And this one is in Rose of Attraction. So it's this really nice, pretty, rosy kind of pink color. Um, I'm just going to swatch for my own benefit just so I forget what they look like because that could happen. It's a nice conditioning formula. I love this. It looks really, really moisturizing on the lips and just very healthy. It gives a nice glow and it's a really nice straight up rosy pink shade, honestly. I have two of the e.l.f. matte lip colors. I have one in Coral, which to me is the better of the two that I have. I really don't like these though, personally. They're just not my thing. I feel like they look like concealer on my lips. Could be the shade, but I think it's also the fact that they're just so drying and just go into all the cracks in my lips. I don't like it. And I also have Nearly Nude, which in fact is Nearly Nude. It's basically like it's concealer, like I said. So if I'm doing a really, really bright, vibrant lip, I will barely, but sometimes use these to kind of just cancel out my lips instead of putting foundation on or something. Um, but honestly, I really don't like these and I feel like I should get rid of them, but I don't because I'm a hoarder and like, hey, that's me. But I would say the coral one is better than the nude one, but honestly, I really don't like these at all. I have one Revlon lip butter. This is in Strawberry Shortcake. It melted weird one time, so that's why it kind of looks not very correct. Thing is, I don't like this. I don't know if I don't like the Revlon lip butters in general or if it's just this shade. I thought it would be so pretty. Um, it's a little bit more of like a bubblegum pink version of the Color Whisper. I don't like this. It reminds me a lot of Max Angel and I actually put this in a dupes video. So if you love Max Angel and you want an affordable option or you want to try it but you don't know if you'll love it so you want to get like a drugstore one, this is really, really similar. The formula is like a tiny bit different. This is more sheer, and the other one is definitely more of a lipstick, obviously, but I mean, personally, I just hate this. I think it looks gross on my lips, and I mean, it feels good, but yeah, I would not recommend this. I'm gonna talk about things that I love because I feel like we're just way too negative for those two seconds of life. Um, These are the Rimmel Kate Moss lipsticks, so I have two of them obviously. This one is my newer one which is 104 and do they have an actual names? I don't think so. Um, this is just so beautiful, right? You look at it and you're like that's great. This is literally a Kylie Jenner color with a little bit of a pink tone hue to it. So it's really pretty. This red one is just number 10. So this one is a really nice true fire engine, truck, bright, in-your-face red. The thing is about this one, once again, similar to the NYC one, you have to blot, you have to do something because this is shiny kind of satin and it will transfer, especially if it's a dark shade, like a red or a mahogany type of a shade. You really, really, really don't want something like this going on your clothes or a person or, I don't know, any surface. So just be really careful with these, but other than that, 
really really like and especially I really really like this um, one in 104 it's so beautiful I have two from wet n wild and this one is stoplight red and this one is oh I have more than just two this one is spiked with rum and this one is bare all bare at all I don't know this sticker came off I forgot that I had spiked with rum the things you learn in your videos, right? So this red is probably my favorite that I've shown you so far. It's really, really, really similar to the Rimmel one, but this one I feel like doesn't transfer at all as much. Obviously it has some transfer, but if you take the precautions, you're probably going to be okay. This one I do recommend more than the Rimmel one, and I think this is cheaper than Rimmel, so that's great. Now, Bear All, Bear It All, whatever the name is, like I said, don't have it is very nudey and I really like it. It has a little bit of a brown tone but it is very very light. Probably the lightest nude I have and I just really like it honestly. It's really pretty and it makes my lips just look very very smooth and just I don't know not flat in a negative way but flat in like a positive way. And then the last one like I said is spiked with rum which to me this is Kylie Jenner on steroids. Um, it's actually really really similar to what I'm wearing today, which is Max Whirl with some other things mixed in, but mostly Max Whirl. So that is like a pretty darn good dupe, I would say. It's, it's really good. I have two e.l.f. lipsticks to show you. The first one is from the Studio line, which is Runway Pink. Don't know if they make this one anymore, but it was like the cult favorite back in the day with YouTube and stuff. Everyone wanted to have runway pink and I bought it. it was like one of my first lipsticks ever and I do like it um, it is just a little bit pinky for me I don't really do pink tones at all honestly so it's fine but it's not like amazing for me just because of the shade but the formula is good this one is in sociable which I love this color but it has glitter in it so if you can get past the fact that your lips will literally have pieces of glitter then you're fine. This is $1, possibly up to $2 now, but it's really, really pretty. It's just if you don't mind spending a dollar, two dollars to have some glitter on your lips, then you'll be okay. But I normally would hate that, but because of the shade, it's so beautiful. I really don't mind. I actually have one more e.l.f. lip thing. Oh, I actually have a lot more e.l.f. lip things, so just kidding. This is the one in Cheeky. This is a moisturizing lipstick. This is really different. I don't know how I feel about it. I go back and forth, honestly. The thing is, swatch is really nice, but when I put it on my lips, it is very... What's the word? It just makes them look kind of metallic, that's it. And I like that, but I kind of don't, so it really depends on my mood and like the eye look I'm wearing and stuff, but for the most part, it is pretty cool, but that's kind of just something to keep in mind. Now I have three of the e.l.f. jumbo lip gloss sticks. Now I just consider these more of jumbo lip pencils. I don't think they're lip glosses in a stick personally, but that's just me. This one is in Movie Star, which they're very, very diffused colors. This one is really like a nice berry toned red. I wouldn't say this is like a true red at all, but it is really cool. This one is in Pink Umbrellas. Or pink umbrella yeah pink umbrellas so that's what that one looks like this is a really nice everyday pink shade this is the type of thing that I will wear um, for like pink shades because it's really nice and then this one is in summer nights which you look at it and you're like okay that's gonna be like a really dark raisin shade but when you swatch it it's literally basically clear with a little bit of glitter and slight it kind of looks a little purple but I mean if you just want to put something on your lips to put something on your lips, this is good for that, but I wouldn't say if you want to get any color payoff to go with those because there really isn't any. Next is by Revlon. This is the one in Rose Velvet number 130, and this is the cream. This is my first, dropped the cap, this is my first Revlon lipstick ever, and I'm just, I'm, I'm just stoked about it. This one is like Kylie color, but it has a lot of a gloss to it which is interesting. I don't know. I like it. I think it's cool, but you definitely have to know this won't be a matte look unless if you kind of make it matte with using some type of translucent powder. 
but I like it a lot. I think it's really fun. So the next one is this CoverGirl Outlast Lip Stain, and it doesn't have a name, but this is what it looks like, and it's very, like, it looks like blood, honestly, on your lips, but sometimes I went for that look, and I like how it's a lip stain, and it's literally a lip stain. Some things that come out these days are not lip stains, they just kind of say they are. This is, like, really old, so... <laughs> It was like a true lip stain, it's like a marker and everything. I have three Maybelline products here, so I have two baby lips, and I have them in Cherry Me and Pink Shock. So Cherry Me is like a straight up sheer red kind of shade. I wouldn't even go as far as to say red, I would just say maybe, it looks like you had a popsicle honestly, but I like it, and I liked it a lot when I first had it. I've used quite a bit of this. And it's moisturizing, it is a little greasy, but like, I can get past that. And then the other one, this one smells like a sour, sour gummy or something. It smells really cool. Uh, this is the Pink Shock one, and literally this is quite hot pink for a lip balm, I would say. I do really, I do like this, I just don't ever find myself really wearing this anymore. But, um, it's good for summer, I guess, but... I don't go for it too often, I don't know. It's good, but it's like not my favorite, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Next is the Touch of Spice by Maybelline. This is one of their mattes, and this is probably one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. High-end drugstore, doesn't matter. It's such a nice nude with some raisin, mauve, um, I don't know. Nice, beautiful undertones in it. And the packaging is really cool. I don't know if some people find this boring or dull or gross, but I really like it. And it's matte and it looks so creamy on the lips. And it just makes everything look smooth and delightful. And I just, I'm a big fan of that lipstick. Next, I have this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is the only NYX lip product I have ever tried. Oh, except for lip liners. Lip liners aren't included in this video, but um, this one is in... Milan. This looks like, packaging wise, that it would be like a nice mauve shade, but once you swatch it, literally this is like a hot pink, but a little bit more of a diffused hot pink. Smells amazing, and I really like it. I love how this looks on the lips. Once again, it's a very, very smooth looking formulation, and it's just literally amazing and beautiful, and I'm obsessed. Um, but it is more of a summer shade, so it's not something I go to now. This one is the Rimmel Show Off Lip Lacquer. This is in Galaxy. And literally, so pretty. I like the applicator. It is a little weird. I feel like I might get too much product most times um, because it is slightly indented. It's like a little divot. But I will honestly just kind of use the back of the applicator where there isn't the divot to get like more control over how much product goes on. But it's literally this beautiful, very purple shade. Like, I can't get over this. Honestly, I think it's stunning, and I'm just like... <gasps> I don't wear it often, because it doesn't set. So it's one of those things where it's like, I thought it was a liquid lipstick, but it's not. Well, it is a liquid lipstick, but it just doesn't set, and it's kind of annoying. But um, if you do apply a thin enough layer, it does set a little bit nicer than if you put it on thick. So next I have my City Color lipsticks, and I've talked about them so much on my channel, so I really don't want to get into too much detail, but since this is a lip video and they're involved, I will talk about them. So my favorite one has to be Kelly, and it is just this beautiful, like, red mauve shade. It's literally like all the colors I love mixed into one. It's like my lips, but a lot better. And I don't know, I just really, really, really like this shade. I think it's so beautiful. The formula of City Color is amazing. The price is amazing. They don't know who I am. They don't... No, they don't know me. But I'm just like a big, loyal customer. Next is Phoebe. And this one is like... Literally the best. I think this is perfect if I'm doing a more intense makeup look. But not like a smoky eye. Because it's pink, so it has a softer look to it. But it's more of like an, a vibe not vibrant, but pigmented pink, so it really does like hold its own, so I don't want anything that competes with the shade, but more like goes with it, and I don't know, it looks so pretty on the lips. Valerie is what I like to wear with anything that is like a smoky eye or something, because this shade 
straight up is like a pale pink but it is my my favorite pale pink that I own honestly this one just looks amazing and it just feels amazing and it's one of those shades where I can wear like basically no makeup with it or so much makeup it's like falling off my face and this will just look great no matter what I pair it with so that's great next is maroon and maroon is a maroon shade for sure this is such a pretty color I would say that this is like a red I would say this is like a red maroon version of Phoebe honestly it's like kind of berry and it just looks really really pretty on the lips this is perfect for the fall and winter season and I'm just a huge fan of this one next is melon melon is the only one that I am not the biggest fan of I don't know I've just never been like yay I'm wearing melon on my lips like I saw this so many times but it looks like I'm wearing a cantaloupe on my face for lipstick and I don't like it. Um, this one, it, it swatches so nicely and I thought this would be my favorite, but it's my least favorite. So I don't know what's up with that, but I maybe I'm gonna definitely have to try it again. I always say it in the videos, but I never do. But I will have to try this again just to see if I really don't like it or what's up. And last is mauve. So mauve is like a pink purpley mauve it's not like very red toned or anything but when you swatch it it looks very very like pinky purple and it, this is like one of the prettiest shades ever to wear I just I really like it I think this is one of the shades that I could wear in summer winter fall spring no matter what because it's a pink shade but it's a little bit deeper it's like a dusty rose you guys those were all of my drugstore lip products in the video now like I said if you want to see the lips the lip glosses let me know I could do that for you um, and I will be doing high-end lipsticks sometime in the future but this is a lot of work so I want to space it out a little bit so I will have my social media links below if you want to check them out if you want to follow me if you want to become best friends like totally we should um, so yeah thank you guys so much for watching please be sure to subscribe comment thumbs up and all that jazz I will see you guys in my next video Bye guys. Let me love you till you feel alright.